about 20 years ago, I saw an ad in the New York Times. College graduate with spiritual leanings wanted to run art program in a hotel, and I thought, that's for me. It's a work by Richard Mock. Richard was a portraitist, and he did pictures of everybody in the Los Angeles art world with that exact same face. You know, the hair was different, but even my dog looked like that, the way Richard Mock did it. Jim Knowles, who is the, the person responsible for this hotel being so great as an art hotel, asked me, put pictures of yourself, because when you're an art dealer, everybody does pictures of you. This is a painting by a, a woman named Marilyn Church, who for a long time did the portraits at Sardi's. I've been a dealer in Los Angeles for 30 years. I've shown an amalgam of East Coast artists and West Coast artists. And I was very, very involved in the New York art scene, the abstract expressionists. I knew de Kooning very, very well. And through him, I met Rauschenberg and Jasper Johns and Jim Rosenquist. This is Jim Rosenquist. He was a popular pop artist. They always say there are five artists of every generation that make it. So in that period, it was Andy Warhol, Robert Rauschenberg, Jasper Johns, Rosenquist. Peter Max was a big art star in the 60s. They used to always ask, do you want to be rich or do you want to be famous? That's the idea you ask an artist because they'll go different routes. If somebody wants to be famous, often they'll go the museum route. They'll try to get into a top gallery. This man's idea was he wanted to be rich and he had his work on everything from buses to needlepoints to pillows to shower curtains. When I opened my art gallery in Los Angeles in 1967, Ray Parker was the first artist I showed. And people loved his work because it was like Matisse in that painting, colors jumped in and out. And the whole trick in abstract expressionist art is the idea of figure grounding, coming forward and going back. All of art is communication. And the artist communicating with you, the viewer, the artist makes a decision who he wants to reach. Peter Max wanted to reach the world. This is an artist named Michael Vaughn. I love this because he's got so many shadows and they're realistic and yet you can always find things in them that are uh, not only uh, mysterious but subversive. This is an artist named Tom Christopher. This is Lexington Avenue and I bought this painting I think for, a, I don't know, a dinner or something. But he's become very, very successful and he's very much a part of the stable here at the Roger Smith. There's not really any kind of a look, except these are all favorite people of mine. And I either bought these, or somebody traded me, or somebody gave me because I'm a nice person. 